What's going on everybody? This is Danny from Slow Restoration and we're in the garage again. Uh, we're not going to do a whole lot of work to the S10 tonight, um, but we did get some parts in today. Two big boxes here and another box down there from another company, but uh, this stuff is from Current Performance Wiring. Um, they have some really awesome stuff for the S10 swaps when you do an LS, LS S10 swap. Um, I actually already opened it up. I kind of cheated, but let's pull this cover off here and see what we got. So we got an oil pan. This is the muscle car oil pan kit. Um, fits nice in the S10 chassis. Uh, we got the current performance poly engine mounts, conversion engine mounts. Um, of course, the oil pan kit comes with everything you need. It's got the oil pan, the bolts, uh, the, the oil pan gasket's already on there, the window tray's there, and the pickup tube, and the dipstick tube. So all that's there. We did get another large box, and they are over here. We got some uh, stainless works. Inch and seven eighths headers uh, for, the, for the swap, specific for the swap. Um, as you can see right through there is where your steering shaft goes on the S10s. Um, these are supposed to fit really nice, so I, I really hope they do. Um, the quality is really nice. Yeah, if they, they fit anything like they look, um, we should be in really good shape. Nice thick flanges, nice TIG welding all the way around the ports. We got that stuff and we have one other item coming from them. And that is the, the conversion uh, harness. So it's the LS harness with all the connectors for the LS motor. And it also plugs in to the stock S10 harness. It's a really cool conversion harness. So you take your LS motor, drop it in, hook up all your connectors to it. And then you take, uh, actually, let's go over here. This truck's still together. Here we go. It's unbolted, but stock location on the S10 computer, you get that out of there. You take the stock LS computer, goes in the same spot, plugs in, and then it plugs right into your factory wiring harness on your S10. Makes all your ABS work, all the, the gauge dashes, the dash gauges rather, uh, turn signal, like all the factory components of the S10 work with your LS motor. You can even plug into the OBD2 port and uh, pull trouble codes out. So that's a really cool engine harness and I'm excited to get that in there and um, should really speed up installing this LS motor in this S10, especially with these headers and motor mounts. All right guys, I'm really getting excited on this build. It's gonna, it's gonna really come together from here. I, I, I really think. Um, we start getting some paint, some parts painted, and actually start putting stuff back together. It's going to start looking like something. I still haven't revealed the paint color on this thing yet, but it's going to be pretty killer. So definitely check these guys out too. They make some really cool thing, parts, products for the LS swaps and the S10s and just LS swaps in general. So definitely check them out. So I did check on our frame. It's still at the sandblasters. Their compressor actually went up. So... Um, they're working on that. It's supposed to be done any day. So hopefully we get that back really soon. And then um, we can get that painted back here and start actually reassembling things. We can get the cab down down uh, to where the frame's going to be getting painted. So there's a separate garage I use for paint because it's just too much of a mess for here. So as soon as the frame's done, we can get this cab moved down there and get the whole paint process started, paint and body. And then we can actually quit tearing stuff apart so much and actually put some stuff back together. So tune back in and see how all that progress goes. Thanks for tuning in today. Have a good day.